Uh, ako si Paolo Villaluna, isang director. Uh, ako yung dating uh, Pangulo ng Directors Guild of the Philippines. Uh, Unang-una, to attest to, to, to the character of Jade, no? uh, nabanggit ni Direct Carlitos kanina, uh, to be a member of DGPI kasi hindi madali. In fact, uh, it's, not an, it's not by application, you are actually invited. Uh, and to be a member, you have to be vetted by nine prominent directors. And any of those one, uh, N9, isa doon nagmagno, nullify agad yung membership niya. So can you imagine on that level, nine prominent people, including Derek Carlitos, Joel Lamangan, uh, Rica Revalo, Paolo Villaluna, several directors attested to him to become a member of DGPI. So on that level, we know one, we have to inform everyone here na Jade is actually a very respected uh, filmmaker in the industry. In fact, his films have won international awards for the country. So in fact, the first time we heard the tweet, akala namin joke, we were literally shocked. We we're like, huh? Uh, but again, I can attest for the professionalism and the character ni Jade as far as we know him. Uh, we have other directors here who are, who are his personal friends and can further attest to how he is as a person. But I can uh, confirm to the committee that Jade is definitely innocent, uh, and as far as we know him, he's not even capable of, of carrying a gun. So much more than burning a bus. So it's, it's kind of incredible, this whole thing. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Chair. Baka pa meron, meron pang mag, uh, yes. Uh, good morning po, Mr. Chair. Uh, ako naman po si Peter San Vargas, also a film director. And again, uh, as we have all attested uh, as members of the DGPI, uh, ako naman po ay nagsimula maging apprentice ni Jade Castro since 2011. So all his projects from there on, which were TV shows for TV5, uh, and then films, and currently po we are even also working on an international co-production uh, together with other members here in the committee. Uh, so yon. So we attest po na we are we have collaborated with Jade Castro, uh, and we want to prove his good character uh, because yon. Uh, we have experienced working with him. Uh, we have ongoing projects with him actually that uh, are still ongoing uh, this 2024. As a matter of fact, we ha we we want we we are completing a film uh, that that should be finished by March 2024. Uh, we, are, we, were set, we were supposed to be set to fly to Taiwan last week of February, but now that is delayed because this, these incidents have occurred. Pero uh, yun po. Uh, so, yeah. Other. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Direct. Huh? So next, uh, Director, please. Hi, good afternoon, Chair. Um, my name is Keith Sigat. I'm also a director and a member of uh, the board of the DGPI. I've had the honor of knowing Jade for well over a decade. Um, uh, I've d had the honor of knowing Jade for well over a decade and even worked with him on a number of projects, uh, one for, uh, that was actually aired on GMA, which is a series. Um, as a person who has worked closely with him, um, he's the most affable person I've ever met. I've even never even seen sorry, him. Sorry, can you, can you speak oh. louder? Both. Yes, hello, sorry. Um, as someone who's worked closely with him and known him for well over a decade, um, he's an extremely affable person. Uh, I have never even seen him, um, you know, uh, lose his temper. Um, this is a very, very uncharacteristic, um, the kind of uh, um, uh, crime he's accused of. It's, it's out of character. Um, kumbaga, it's almost impossible to understand um, on, the r on this, um, th this level. So I can just attest from someone who's known him personally and professionally, um, that uh, he's of extremely good character, and he is um, an extremely gentle soul. And this kind of, um, you know, um, accusation is, um, it's shocking. Thank you. Okay, so uh, next, who else? Good morning. Uh, direct, the lady, the yeah. lady in black. Nice. Hello, good morning po. My name is Ice Idana and I'm also a director and a member of the Directors Guild of the Philippines. Um, the first time I worked with Direct Jade was in 2014 uh, for the TV show entitled Becky Boxer. 
Um, it was the first um, show that I was a part of um, as a cinematographer. Um, I can say that si Jade po is very um, mapagbigay. Uh, sobrang out of character po sa kanya itong nangyayari na to. Uh, during that time, um, nakita ko how he believed in uh, the young filmmakers. Um, tinulungan po niya, hinasa niya para maging magaling sa craft nila. Uh, film is Jade's life. Um, he tells stories, and by telling those stories, nakukuha po niya sa mga experiences niya traveling around the Philippines. Si Jade po mahilig siyang mag-immerse. Gusto po niyang parating may bagong experience. That's why he goes to these festivals. He has these things planned. Pinupuntahan po niya yung mga malilit na festivals kasi yun po yung mga storya na hindi nakukwento sa pelikula. Um, kaya, hindi, nung first time po namin itong nalaman, hindi po namin ma-imagine that this happened to him because... He's so gentle. Um, pag humawak nga po ng mic yun, parang malalaglag yung mic sa kamay niya. Let alone carry a gun.